Welcome back to Cooking with Kayla D. I'm Kayla, and this is my husband, Randy. My disclaimer. If you haven't done so, please subscribe and remember to hit that notification bell so you get all the up-to-date episodes. Also, feel free to like, to leave a comment so we can get to know you and hear your feedback on our videos, and also share. Sharing is caring. Today we're going to be making the best chicken broth ever, two different ways, and with lots of collagen, good for your hair, skin, and nails. For your ingredients, you're going to need one and a half to one gallon of water, one to four pounds of chicken legs or thighs boned in, two teaspoons of onion powder, two teaspoons of garlic powder, one half teaspoon of celery salt, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of dry thyme, one teaspoon of dry rosemary, and one dry bay leaf. Let's get started. So right now I'm gonna take that recipe and I'm gonna times it by two because I am making two different ways. First, the stock pot. First, I'm going to put my frozen chicken in. Yes, you can do frozen, you just have to cook it a little longer. I'm using chicken legs to start out with because I need to defrost those to put those into my Instapot for the other way we're gonna do this. So the stove top will take about four to six hours if you want it to be really, really good and pull all that collagen out of the bones. So you're gonna go ahead and put your water in until it's just about to cover your chicken. And then you wanna add your bay leaf and then dump in your seasonings. I find it's better just to put them all into the bowl and then boom, dump them in. And once you have your seasonings dumped in, you wanna take some type of a cooking spoon and kinda of just splash the water around and make sure you get those seasonings into the water so that way they can boil into the chicken and flavor that broth well. And now, as you can see now, everything is well dispersed into the broth. And so now we're just going to bring it up to a boil, and it did. I transferred the legs into my Instapot because they broke apart finally. And then I put some more legs and a couple of boneless, skinless chicken breasts into that pot with the seasoning. And I'm going to let that continue to cook on the stovetop. Here I've got those chicken legs that pulled apart. I'm going to go ahead and add my water to those now. And I'm going to go ahead and add that bay leaf in the seasonings like we did earlier. And that is the amount that is in the description area for your ingredients. Those ingredients are for one pot of your chicken broth. And then we're going to use our chicken for an awesome recipe. And so you're gonna want to come back on Monday because we're making a really delicious recipe with this chicken that we are cooking right now to make this broth and with the broth. So next I'm gonna put my lid on, make sure it's on seal. You want don't want that not to be on seal. And then you're gonna set your Instapot to pressure cook and you wanna do it for 40 minutes. Once the 40 minutes is up and it goes into low mode, that little silver thing on the top is gonna go down. When that goes down, then you're going to hit cancel and start it all over again for another 40 minutes. And as you can see, it is down, so we've got it off. We're gonna go ahead and put pressure and now just let it go again another 40 minutes. After this time, it will be ready. You just run it twice. You'll have the perfect chicken broth in an Instapot or pressure cooker, whichever you're doing. And now going back over to the stove top, you're gonna to continue to boil your chicken, put a lid on, leave it cracked open so it doesn't boil over. Every few minutes, you'll wanna check this, about every 30 minutes. As the water cooks down, as you can see here, you're gonna to have to add more water to it. And you're gonna to have to do this several times because this isn't being locked in like a pressure cooker, so it continually will need to be add, have water added to it. So you'll probably need about two to four gallons of water for doing a stovetop method. And again, it does take longer, but uh, I'm telling you, the broth was amazing and it was so worth the work. After you add your water, make to, sure to continue to keep putting that lid on with the crack so that it does not boil over. As you can see here, the collagen is starting to come out of the bones. It is looking so good. Now those chicken breasts I had put in there, 
you'll want to, if you're putting any kind of boneless chicken in there, you'll want to remove that after one hour of boiling. You can leave your legs in there. Those will stay juicy and tender. But for breast, it does tend to dry out awfully quick. So you definitely do not want to cook that for more than an hour. 45 minutes is actually a really good time to leave it in once your water is boiling. You can go ahead and strain the oil off of the top of your broth if you want to. It is very easy to do that with a ladle or to use a paper towel to lightly just place on top and suck it up. For us, we just leave it there. It's not that big of a deal to us. And with the chicken broth, when you're ready to strain it and it's cooled a little bit, you want to put a strainer over the top of a container and go ahead and strain that to catch any of the chicken and the seasonings, as like I did right there, as you could see. Now this has been on low for 30 minutes on the second time. The little silver thing is down, so we can go ahead and release it and take our lid off and be careful when doing that so the steam doesn't get you. It might still have a lot of steam want to use some type of pot holders to remove this and you're going to strain this just like you did the last batch of chicken and right here I have my chicken breast that I had pulled out earlier and I have a pile of chicken legs underneath that from that um, stovetop chicken broth and then I'm going to take the instapot chicken and place it on top of that so it can continue to cool once the chicken is cooled, I will go ahead and debone it and throw the skin and the fat away that is left. And then we will use that delicious chicken for another recipe. If you come back on Monday, you can enjoy that recipe with us. Once you have your chicken broth strained, you can go ahead and store it or freeze it however you so desire. There are many different methods, mason jar, um, freezer bags, vacuum seal, however you, you know, want to do it, you go ahead and do that. Well, thank you again for being here on Cooking with Kayla D. once again. Wanted to share some beautiful photos of the sunrise here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. We love where we live, and we just like to share that beauty from God with all of you. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. Genesis 1, If you haven't done so, please hit the subscribe button right here with our photo icon. And we'll see you again soon. Also, here is another recipe if you are interested. God bless you. Stay in that kitchen and keep on cooking.